The following is a presentation of TFNN. It is now time for the Diagnostic Trading Hour with your host, Daryl Martin. Martin. All right, folks, welcome on back here to the Diagnostic Trading Hour. And right now, just checking out where things are at, we got the S&P. It is currently down seven points on the day. Pulling on back up there after a big move on down. And we got the Russell's currently just down about uh, four points right now after moving down to uh, 971. Currently setting up a little bit higher um, right now at 980. And we got the NASDAQ uh, down nine points on the day. We got the Dow down 34. So uh, almost quiet after the last two days, but it's, it's actually been some really good solid movement. Uh, like I said, it ran down. We had some good moves down and uh, pulled on back up. Let's check out oil. Oil right now is down 38 cents with natural gas down 0.02, which is actually about a half a percent move. We got corn down two bucks and seventy five cents. We got soybeans down twenty one dollars on the day. So some nice solid down moves on soybeans. And it looks like it's low on the day was fourteen seventy one twenty five. It's currently sitting at fourteen uh, seventy eight. So it's pulled back a little bit from that low, but it had a nice big solid down move. Euro dollar currently down nineteen pips. Aussie dollar just getting slammed down a hundred and one pips on the day. And uh, like I said, just a massive, massive move right there. And uh, it's up about 20 pips off of its low at the moment. Looking over at pound dollar down, up 9 pips. U.S. CAD up 34. U.S. Franca uh, getting knocked down pretty hard too, down 71 pips. Euro yen down over 1%, down a buck 41. Pound yen down a buck 17. U.S. yen is down at 96 pips on the day. Gold is uh, currently down 4 bucks and 70 cents. And uh, up about five bucks off of its low. Silver is down 0.028, which uh, really not a small move. Or, I mean, not a big move at all. So basically flat on the day. And, uh, you know, it, it, it is up off its low. It was lower earlier. And we got copper down uh, 0.09, which is about a quarter percent. So not a massive move in copper. So that being said, let's go ahead and look on over at a few of the other charts that we have. And let's check out our deviation levels for the day. Let's see where the markets are. Are they behaving? What are they doing? Well, let's start off with the Aussie dollar. we got the Aussie dollar right now. And uh, let me back up a little bit. And you can see, I mean, it just uh, right after the close. Um, the market, you know, pit close right here about 5 o'clock. Oh, sorry, 3 o'clock, 1500. And, uh, you know, stayed pretty flat. And then uh, all of a sudden the markets opened up over there. And it just moved straight down. Right to one deviation. I mean, look at that perfect move down to one deviation. And, uh, it, you know, it, it stayed there for quite a while. And when I say quite a while, I mean a long time. It stayed down there from 8 o'clock. And uh, really, it's just now, I mean, it tried to break it two or three times. This is the fourth attempt to break down below it. And um, right now, but below one deviation. But it literally has spent about uh, eight hours, 12 hours. What would that be? 16 hours. Um, also, in between one deviation and half a deviation. So, great swing trading. Um, but, uh, again, great Asian session right there, trading the Aussie dollar. It's been a few great Asian trading sessions lately. Um, going on over, let's check out the pound dollar. So, over here on the pound, and uh, bring that chart into focus. There we go. Uh, we got to move down to about half a deviation um, early in the evening. It pulled on back up to settlement, and literally has just been a crisscrossing settlement ever since uh, from yesterday's close right there at 3 o'clock. We'll get on over pound dollar. Let's go on and look at our euro dollar. So euro dollar moved up to 0.7. It uh, actually went the opposite direction. It did pull down, didn't quite uh, get a, whole, a half deviation move, but then it ran all the way back up. It literally moved at over a deviation from the low to the high, and it actually pulled all the way back down a deviation again. So it really had a big rocket launch right there right at 4 a.m. this morning. And I'm sure, uh, you know, that's going to be a news base that just due to the speed of that movement. And so let me look right here. We'll pull that up, check it out, and uh, go through it. But right here, 
Looking at the news from this morning, yeah, we had the uh, German IFO business climate report came out at 4 a.m. And uh, usually not one that I trade a lot on, um, just to, you know, but it, it was still a decent. You could have done a great straddle news trade off of that one. But uh, 105.7 was the actual. The expectation was 104.6, so that came in way better than expected. And um, the last uh, number that came in was 104.4. So not only did it come in better than the expectation of 104.6, but it actually exceeded uh, the previous uh, reported number as well. And it's a survey where they go out and they survey 7,000 businesses and ask them to rate business conditions um, and their expectations over the next six months. So the fact that that's going up, that's obviously a very positive thing. Um, Germany is uh, a whole nother way to <laughs> uh, grow a country because everybody's moving to Germany out of these other countries. They've had more immigration um, than they've had in over a decade. Uh, people moving out of other countries and into Germany due to its strength. Now we can go on down. Let's look at the U.S. CAD. Right here on the U.S. CAD, what we can see is it moved up almost to a deviation. I mean, we can see that right there. And uh, almost one deviation move before pulling on back. But you definitely got a, a nice move at least to the point seven, where you could have trailed your stop all the way up. Again, we always trail that stop to the five ticks below the bar that closes above it if we're long or if we're short to five ticks the bar that closes below it. And so that gives us our USD CAD. Now we can go in, we can check out the uh, USD franc. So on the dollar franc right here, what we're looking at, we got a per look at that. That is just pretty right there. Perfect one deviation move all the way down. And um, so just like I said, a great, great move right there. And uh, could have easily taken advantage of that. It has oscillated since about 6 a.m., up to came on back up to a half deviation move back down to one just sitting right now right in the middle of um, that area right there good uh, butterfly trade time it is Friday um, take advantage of those butterflies we'll talk about those here in a minute how to do those and that's uh, a great fun premium collection strategy I talked to uh, me and Tommy talked about it this morning on the uh, bull bear binary hour that we do every Friday uh, morning that you can check out right here on TFNN and let's go through. Let's look at a couple other pairs. We got the dollar yen. So on dollar yen, we got to move down and surprise, uh, bounces off a half deviation, falls down to where? Yep, down to one deviation. And again, I mean that's that's what it's seventy percent expectation of movement. Uh, now yesterday we had a massive move on dollar yen. It fell down to one, and it went ahead and dropped to two. So right there to two deviations. That was that was much more than expected. But usually we're looking for that one deviation move. You can see right there, hit one deviation move the day before. And, I mean, just over and over and over again, you can see these deviation levels just getting being perfect targets. And um, by using them, you can use them for profit targets. You can use them for binary strike selection. You can use them for premium collection. Uh, my favorite way to use them is just for trailing stop management. But there's a lot of ways uh, that you can use these to take advantage of them. All right, so we got that right there. That wraps up most of our currency pairs for the day. Let's go ahead and I guess we can look at Euro Yen and just see the movement. Um, it's been a bit choppy, so ran back up, came right back down basically um, from where it was at this evening. But I mean, if you've traded the Asian session, you're loving life right now because it has just been a fantastic. It's been smooth, been great trends, and usually yeah, it's just a quiet time. There's nothing to do, but uh, lately, you know, you've had some good trades you can take advantage of. Let's look on over here and check out our energies. We got oil right now, and uh, with oil, it's moved on down to 0 0.5, 0 0.7, almost touched one, but did not hit it. It's pulling on back up, um, along with the uh, indices and everything else. It's uh, trying to retrace on back up there. It's almost filled in its settlement price from yesterday, and uh, it'll be coming to a close here in about an hour. So, uh, but I mean, we've just had a really strong move right now. I mean, it's pushing up in these last 10 minutes, uh, going up about 40, 50 uh, cents right now. And I'm getting a lot of activity over on a market noise indicator right there showing me uh, this, the electronic noise. It's sort of like listening to the pit, but uh, listen to the electronic. And uh, it's one of my favorite indicators that I like to use. And um, it's been firing off on oil quite a bit um, here recently. And let's go down and check out natural gas. So on natural gas right here, you can go in and um, we can see the, the movements on it. And it's been just an interesting, interesting day on natural gas. Uh, but we'll come back. We're, I, we're, I want to show you some things you can do on natural gas a little bit later. We'll go in. We'll check out copper. So on copper over here, 
Um, we had to move down to about half a deviation and up half a deviation. And uh, I've said this before. I want to say it again. I just want to make sure that you do got it down. But a lot of people forget the fact that, you know, a half and a half makes a whole. And, you know, so what you want to do is you want to take those highs to those lows. And you want to see is there, um, you know, a correlation there that you can use. So a lot of people, you know, they'll forget about that. They won't use it. And, um, you know, they sort of, they miss out because they, they think, oh, it just moved to 0.7. It almost moved to 1. Well, it moved up 0.3 first. So you can even use like a one deviation. Now, this is the only place where I do, like you call it a phantom deviation, but I'll, I'll draw a line from where the deviation, the high to the low is on one deviation. And I'll use a ruler. Like a Ninja Trader, you can use the ruler drawing feature. And that's a, it's very simple. It's very helpful. And uh, but let's see here. So I'll go in, and basically what I'll do is I'll just click right here on the ruler, and you can go and you can draw, you know, whatever a deviation is from a high to a low. And we, you know, we post those on our website, so it makes it easy for you to find them. But uh, let's see if I can pull up how you would uh, put that together. Let's see, I'll go in, and if I go over to the diagnostic website, and go over here, and what you'll do as soon as you log in is click on deviation levels, right there and we'll scroll down and we can go to let's see right now we're on copper so you'd scroll on down to copper and go okay so on the copper contract down here we got hg okay and uh, we're looking at a deviation of 0.0560 so you'd literally want to draw this thing you know where it was 0.0560 from high to low so i'm going to go over here and now i'm going to again i'm going to use the ruler okay and Let's see, let me make this a little more legible because that's pretty hard to see. Let's make this like green or something. There you go. Okay, so make that easier for you to see there. And then I can grab this and now I'll just bring it up 0 0.0560. And then, you know, draw this over here. Just make sure I get to that high. So a little bit lower is going to be a full deviation. So we didn't quite get a full deviation, but you can see, you know, where is a full deviation move. It's pretty easy when it goes up to the half deviation, down to the half deviation. But like I said, sometimes it'll go, you know, up 0.3 and then down, you know, 0.7. So you may not really notice the 0.3. But so 560, just knowing that that's what that is, can um, help you when you're trying to put those different pieces together. And let's see, I want to pull up one more thing on here and let's see if I can find it. And, uh, okay, there it is. Um, we got the silver contract. So on silver, okay, I'll go ahead. I'll, I'll cover silver and uh, gold when we get back from this break. says you can't take it with you. TFNN says you can. With your mobile device and TFNN's live radio streams, TFNN has put it all in the palm of your hands. No special apps to download. No subscription fees for live radio or Tiger TV streams. We say you can. Now let's go over to the doll because the doll is going to be the generator. It is the generator of basically higher dollar, lower market. And what the dollar has done, and this whole uptrend, folks, has just gone sideways. The way it works, folks, is this. We say you can. The Tiger Financial News Network. Smart investors and professional traders know you can. TFNN.com. Educating investors.
with the launch of Tiger TV. TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesamento, Andy Hecht, Victor Jones, or Daryl Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. McEwen Mining is a high-growth, mid-tier producer in the Americas with a market capitalization of $1 billion. Experienced mining executive Rob McEwen, as chairman, CEO, and president, owns 25% of the outstanding shares of McEwen Mining and has put in place an ambitious business plan with the goal of qualifying for inclusion in the S&P 500 by 2015. With $70 million in cash and liquid assets as of the end of 2012 and completely debt-free, McEwen Mining is poised for growth. Production in 2013 is forecasted to grow at 24%, reaching 130,000 gold equivalent ounces. And over the next three years, McEwen Mining projects that their production will increase to 290,000 gold equivalent ounces, almost a three-fold increase from last year's totals. If you'd like to find out more about McEwen Mining, click on their banner on the front page of TFNN.com or check them out on the NYSE or TSX under the symbol MUX. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market, something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's new trading newsletter, Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the forex market, and more. And you'll get the Technical Corner segment, which is a short but powerful weekly training session on trading. You'll You'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you just the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two weeks. Go to TFNN.com and click on the free trial link at the top of the page. That's an $85 value, yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind and get the edge you've been looking for. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Daryl takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. All right. Welcome on back here to the Diagnostic Trading Hours. Or trading hour, <laughs> and uh, I guess trading hours, right? We got them day after day after day. Anyway, checking out silver. Silver now really quiet. I mean, moving down about half a deviation, and uh, looking on over. Let's check out gold. So uh, nice shiny metal gold. That is my daughter's favorite color is gold, and um, she is my little trader. By the way, she loves to trade. She is uh, six years old, and she's been trading uh, futures, and now she's learning to trade Nadex. But she's been trading futures since she was three. We go in and we do scalping at night. And that uh, should just go for, you know, a couple ticks here and there, but a great trader. Um, what's really funny is uh, I thought about making, like, um, one of the book I'm writing on, um, one of the chapters called Trade Like a Child. I think she's a better trader than most of the traders I work with, simply because she can do one thing really well. She can follow rules. Uh, she doesn't make it about money because, I mean, she doesn't totally have that concept of money. And, um, I mean, she can count. She knows math backwards and forwards. Uh, and I mean, she's a smart kid. She literally, uh, I'm really proud of her. This is a dad bragging moment. But she just uh, did her exit, you know, test out of kindergarten. She actually just ranked in fifth grade on her math skills. And um, so she knows math. You know, she can calculate. She can do addition, subtraction, obviously, all that stuff, and even some multiplication. And, but she she can follow rules. When this happens, buy. When this happens, sell. It's not what if, and my P&L, and da 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 you know, it's follow the chart. She can follow the chart, and uh, she doesn't bring all the other baggage into it. And uh, it's just, it's a good lesson. 
uh, to you know watch a child trade when you teach them the rules because to them it's just that's what you do. And uh, we get so much baggage from 1,000 books we've read and 1,000 seminars we've been to by people who don't trade. Uh, and, you know, you want to listen to people who are trading, you know, here at TFNN, you got people that are trading that are on the air, that are talking and teaching, and uh, people that are actually in the markets. And you can tell, after you've been doing this for a while, after you've taken enough courses and books and seminars, you know the people who trade and the people who talk about trading. And... Uh, but it's really cool. I mean, because once you do, you find some of those people that actually are actively trading and you start implementing it and putting it together and you, it's a hard challenge, but if you let go of a bunch of that baggage and trade like a child, um, it, it's amazing how your trading can just be completely dynamically changed. And, um, I don't know if there's gonna be enough time. I'm going to look and see, uh, just cause it's right at the expiration, but we're going to, we're going to look, we're going to see right here. Just on uh, gold. So yeah, gold's in a 1387.3, uh, 8.5. So let's just see if there is one. And uh, so right here, if I go in to the gold contract and I say, only show me ones that have, let's go up here to the binary. So, okay, so we may be too late. I was going to try to do it, but uh, the commercial breaks there. So 70 to 90. And then gold. All right, so we do. We have one premium collection, so 1387. All right, so it's pretty close. But uh, here in the next three minutes, so you click this um, right here for you, and you go to buy on this. Um, it just uh, it just ticked out, so it, it literally just disappeared. Anyways, uh, too bad, right? Uh, if gold finishes above 1387, you can see where that was the last quote on there. We might even be able to get, ooh, here's a 1384. Definitely going to be lower than 1384. Uh, so let's check that out. That's that's like a mispricing you can take advantage of. So let's see here. Somebody's trying to sell. Oh, they're trying to sell with their... Yeah, that's... Somebody's trying to get out of a trade that they're losing on. It's about to go. That'd be a great trade. But uh, if you could buy into this trade right now for 72.50, like I said, it just, that was the last quote, so it's stuck in there. Um, then on that trade, I got to move my Nadex account over here. It doesn't keep popping up like that. Um, then, you know, you'd be able to put that trade on, and you'd make $27.50. So if you put that on just a couple minutes ago, yeah, you could be profitable on that trade and put the pieces together. And there's, there's a lot of ways to do it, okay? But there are a whole lot of ways to do these trades. And, uh, you know, gold's going to be probably not the best one. I haven't done a whole lot on gold. I'm starting to look at the metals to see. I haven't, really, I haven't done any of them on the metals yet. What I like to do them on a lot is I'll do them on the FX pairs, like at 3 o'clock. Um, I've been doing a lot on the indices, like around 4.15. So, and, um, but I'm going to start looking. There's a whole, yeah, I'm making a table right now just for all the uh, the expiration times. And so, basically what this table will have is, you know, every expiration time of every instrument and that market's, you know, pit session or wait session close. So, I can sort of know, okay, these are the markets I want to look at at these times of day. But I'll show you how to do this, the settings to put into the scanner, so that way you can see actually how to do this premium collection when uh, we get back from this break. Does the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's n a d e x.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. 
Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, gives you Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. With Market Insights, nothing is left to guessing. With the market at record levels, volatility is here, and now is a perfect time to take advantage of a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights. As recently as March 26th, Tom advised his subscribers to liquidate their four short-term equity holdings, closing out all four positions for a combined 15.9% profit. And on April 1st, Tom advised his clients to sell their longer-term position in AIG warrants, locking in more than a 40% profit in just that one trade. If you'd like to see the kind of newsletter Tom O'Brien sends out to his subscribers each morning, then sign up for your two-week free trial to Market Insights today by visiting the front page of tfnn.com the art of timing the trade charts has officially launched at tfnn in collaboration with tom o'brien and using his best-selling book the art of timing the trade your ultimate trading mastery system david white has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology Using this first-of-its-kind software, the art of timing the trade charts allows you to scan for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, Butterflies, ABCs, and much more. The art of timing the trade charts is designed to help you when scouring the market for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, and even months searching to find. As part of our introductory pricing, we're offering licenses available at only $59 per month. We're so confident that you'll love this new outstanding piece of charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Lock in your low price today by ordering your copy at TFNN.com. Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading, and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The diagnostic box spread analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels, as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex Box Spreads. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. All right, welcome on back here to the Diagnostic Trading Hour. So we're going through, and uh, those just expired on out there. And um, let's go ahead and look at, like I said, uh, to do this whole premium collection thing, what are you trying to accomplish? You're basically trying to accomplish premium collection, which means, what does premium collection mean? That means that the market can not move and you make money. And the market can move in, say, one direction and you can make money. Or the market can move in another direction but not too much and you can still make money. So it's a higher probability lower profitability trade. And some people go, wait a minute, I'm risking like $75 to make 25 bucks, that seems nuts. Well, yeah, except for what's your probability. So if you win nine out of 10, you know, do the math. And uh, I mean, are you gonna win nine out of 10 because you do this? Well, I don't know. I mean, it depends upon if you do it correctly. But, you know, you can demo trade it and find out. But, uh, you know, 25, you know, dollars times nine, okay? And you go in, I mean, that's that's nice. And then say you lose one, so minus 75. You still made 150. So your probability can overcome your profitability. Likewise, the lower your probability, the higher your profitability needs to be. So they, they, they invert, okay? So if you have a 50-50, you should be able to make 50 bucks or $50 risk. Um, and some people go, well, every trade's 50-50. Well, that's not true. If it can stay flat, go up or go down, and I can make money, that's not 50-50. Just factually, it's not. 
because there's you know what it's what is the probability it'll move this far down versus move down stay flat or go up so there actually is a probability factor built in now if you're just buying or selling it's a 50 50 so that's why you want at least a one to one risk reward if you're being directional at at least a one to one now if you know it has to actually move so, by the way, one-to-one -one risk reward means if it doesn't move, I'm, you know, the most I'm losing, like I say, a little bit, like a bit of spread, things like that. But uh, if it has to move, let's say it has to move five points before you make anything, then you want a greater than a one-to-one because -one, you have a lower probability. Why do you have a lower probability? Why is it not 50-50? Well, because if it stays flat and you lose, if it moves down and you lose, and it moves up a little bit and you lose, but it doesn't move up a lot, you lose. So the only way you win is if it moves up a lot. So that'd be like flipping it around and going, I'm going to risk 25 to make 75, okay? And um, so, I mean, you got to have the numbers add up. They have to be there in your favor. But I know a lot of traders that are starting to do this strategy, they're using the scanner, they're loving it, and uh, doing it day after day. But I can go over here, and I mean, just here's the ones right now. i got uh, these right here. Now, I can actually do what's called, I call it, you know, the iron butterfly, the iron binary butterfly. And uh, it's basically just where I can bind two of them together. So I can make $21 here, I can make $23 right here. So I can make a net total of about 25 bucks on this, or 45 bucks on this trade. Well, if I make 45, what's my risk? Well, if I lose, you know, 75 and I make 25, then my risk is about 50 bucks. So I can make about 50 to lose about 50. Uh, and we were talking about this morning. Well, how do I lose on this trade? Well, if it expires above 16.48, then I'm going to lose 75 bucks, but I'll make 25 over here. If it expires below 16.44, then I could, you know, or 16.42. We'll just go down to this example based on the prices moving. If it goes above 16.48, I'll lose 73 dollars, but I'll make 26 dollars. If the S&P stays below 16.42, okay, goes below and stays below 16.42, then I'll lose 72 bucks, but I'll make 25. So I'm getting a little better than a one-to-one. -one. I'm going to make a little more than 50 for, for my $50 risk. Uh, and people start, like, well, how do you make 50? I don't understand. And how do you only lose 50? Well, if I put on both of these trades and it stays in between 1642 and 1648, I'm going to make $27 here and $25 here. So I'm going to make 52 bucks on the trade. So that's if it stays in between those ratios. Now, if it goes outside of them, okay, so like right there, if it goes outside of either one of them, only one side can lose. All right, so literally only one side can lose. And so one side could lose 75 bucks, the other one make 25 bucks, which means the worst thing that could happen is I lose 50 bucks. So if it goes up, if it goes way down, it goes below 1642, then I lose 25 bucks, I make 75 bucks on the trade. All right, so looking at that, that makes it really simple for me. I'm not having to do any kind of hard math, by the way. So it's just right there in front of you. Um, and you can go up here, and you can just do, like, reset filters. You can add in, you know, select your instrument. I'll put 70, and then I'll put 90 right here. And I can even scroll this down, you know, if I want to see less time. But I can go over here and go, okay, let's find some trades. So right there, I got a great trade set up. Now, whether or not I want to do the trade, I got you know, I need to look at charts. I need to look at, you know, volume, all that stuff. I look at time and sales. I look at market noise. You know, do I think the market's actually going to stay between that range during this time? Because right now, I mean, where is the market sitting? So let me pull up the S&P. We have the market sitting at like 1644.75. <coughs> so the market's basically almost right in between 1642, 6. So that, yeah, it's right in between um, these two strikes. So perfectly balanced out uh, trade. And... Um, so I can go over here and just sort of look at, like I said, where the market is currently at. See how much I can shrink this to get the current market price. There we go. So, I mean, it's just run up. How's it? Look at that move. And uh, so I go in and put this trade on. And I'm grabbing some screen captures because I always like to grab these for good examples whenever I'm doing training and teaching. But uh, so we put these pieces together on here. And it basically lets us see, you know, where is the market and right here. So let me pull this up, put it right down here. And so the trade that we had was a 1642 to 1648. Now 1642 currently is not even displaying because it's already moved quite a bit. Uh, 
And now we can also go over to the live. So a lot of people don't know this. We have a live feature and a demo feature built in. So you can go down here and see what's on the live, what's on the demo, and you can log into your Natix account um, and look at the 3 o'clock. So we're trying to find that 1642. So let's go over here and look at that. Right here, 3 o'clock. Okay, it's not on that 3 o'clock one. Let's see here. Which one did we have? We had the uh, 3 o'clock Fridays. And um, so right there, we have, there's the 1642.3 um, expiration. And so, you know, with all those pieces, when you put them all together, then you really get an ideal uh, trade setup. And I'm going to put the screen right next to the chart. So we see both sides. And the more pieces you see when they come together, the easier and easier this thing gets to be able to make it where you can easily follow along. We've got some thunderstorms going on here in Texas, so hopefully they'll keep uh, those tornadoes at bay. Anyways, uh, they keep coming up out of nowhere. It's that time of year in May. Uh, but anyway, so we got that right here, and I'll go ahead and I'll pull up the S&P just on a 10-minute chart. There we go. All right. Now... Scroll over here. Let's just see exactly where the market's at. And if it disappeared, that's because of the risk reward. So that's why if you going to be there like one minute and gone the next, it's the uh, it's the risk reward ratio. And so now we'll just look at this one up here. Let's see if that'll uh, show me my information that I want. And by doing this, um, like I said, step by step, put the pieces together. So I'm going to go through it one more time for you. We got US 500. We got a risk of 90 bucks, okay? And now I can go down and I can look at every expiration time. So like right here, I can um, see the expirations and go, okay, if it stays in this range, then I will be profitable on the trade, okay? And so what is that range? What does that mean? Well, on that, so that's good. That's why I grabbed the, uh, the chart there because I want to be able to show you with a, uh, because it keeps changing on me. That's the hard part, which really isn't hard when you're trading because you just hit the button. You don't care. You're not sitting there watching it all day. There we go. Now I got it. Okay. Sweet. Here we go. This is what I've been trying to do. So the market will stay between this range, okay, of 16, you know, 41 and 16, 47. Then I have a nice trade I can do. All right. And, you know, different ones pop up at different times. So this one right here was 1642 and 1648. So, as, you know, the market's fluctuating up and down a little bit. You can take advantage of them. But uh, right now we got 1641 and 1647. And so I have a trader here where I will make 28 bucks. Okay. If it stays above it, I'll make um, $29 if it stays below it. So if I add the two together, I'll make over $50 on the trade if it stays between 1641 and 1647. So I guess if I combine that together, I would get 57 bucks in profit. Okay. Now, if this side loses right here, the 1647, if it loses, I lose 71 bucks, but I make $28 because it was above 1641. Unfortunately, it was also above 1647. So I lose 71, I make 28, which means I lost like $33, $43 on the trade. Okay? Net, because I sold this one and bought this one. So some of this profit helped cover some of this loss. Now, what happens if it goes below 1641? If it goes below 16.41, well, then I lose $72, but I make $29. So I'm basically going to have a $43 loss. Now, remember, if it stays in between them, okay, it'll stay in between 28 and 29, then I will make 57. So we're talking about a you know, $43 loss and a $57 profit. That's an awesome combination right there. And so I put those pieces together. I buy this one. I sell this one. I leave it alone. And that literally can become your trade. That's your butterfly trade. Go back to work. All right? Now, if you want to get really involved, you can go another step. But that right there, that's the simplicity of it. And you can do these at the 7 o'clock expiration, the 11 p.m. expiration, the 3 a.m. expiration. I mean, there are expirations going on around the clock that you can take advantage of. And uh, there are different things you can do inside the scanner to help you with that. So whatever time that you know, you're available to trade, you can go over here. And you can literally say, show me one that's expiring in the next 30 minutes. And it'll show you only those trades that are going to expire in the next 30 minutes. Um, you can start flipping through the different markets. 
makes it really easy for you. So there's a lot of things that you can do to help out with this, but I mean, you can just literally start flipping down and finding the, you know, the trades that actually fit within those parameters. Um, and you can go over here and go, what about Aussie dollar? What about Euro dollar? What about pound dollar? And so you can put the pieces together. I've even seen um, some traders now what they're doing is they're actually, they'll cross markets. So if they get like say 27 bucks on one. So let's see, let me show you an example. You go in here, okay, I can get $21 on this one, but I can only get 12 bucks on this one. So is there a buy on another indice that I can get one on? Let's see, that one's 17, that's better. Not that one. So there we go, there's a $28 one. I've got 28 and 26 right here, right now, on the Dow for the 2 o'clock expiration here in the next 15 minutes. Okay, so that's this is literally a Dow trade that you could do. I mean, it's, let's see, is this, is this uh, not Dow, what is this one? Um, sorry, this is small cap. And I'm like, that price is not a Dow price. <laughs> and, uh... So anyway, so we pull that up. Now we can go in, we can pull our chart up. Okay, we can go to the small caps right here. Just pull up the Russell. And then, see how it's sitting right in between them, 980.2 to 982.2? Okay. So if in the next 15 minutes, right here, we will stay in between these prices. So I'm going to click this ticket. And this ticket, okay. And uh, ah, see, it already started moving up on me. Now I'm only getting 15. <laughs> but uh, we, we can wait or whatever, so we can see what happens. But um, I do want to get my fills, and I want to get about a fifty dollars. So I want to get like twenty five bucks on both sides. All right. And uh, I can even go in and change this to one to make it easy for you to see this the P and L. But you can see, I mean, it's already happening. It's already collecting money on that right now. But. Uh, so anyway, so we could put a, you know, this leg on if we wanted to. I'll put this one leg on. And that'll give us about a $40 reward. I really like it if I can get 50 total. So we got those two in there. And uh, now, again, I can scan through. I can find other other indices where maybe there's a good trade that's working out. That's only 14 and 50 So this trade right here, nothing on the tech. We can go to the U.S. 500. Uh, there's a $27 on U.S. 500. So uh, let's flip over to that, and we can go over here to the S&P 500. There we go. See if you like that, 1646, if it stays below 1646 um, in the next uh, 17 minutes, then you can collect 27 on that one. So you can start putting these pieces together. Now here's what's really cool, okay? If you're willing to manage it a little bit, all right? then this can actually really work out very well in your favor. And, uh, you know, how so? How do I mean that? Well, what you can do on it is you can go in and you can simply, there we go, got that one in. Um, you can go in on this, and if you buy it one for 25 and you sell, or buy one for 75 and sell one for 25, there's something we know about binaries, and it's an edge. It's a secret, I guess you could say. It's only a secret because you probably don't know it. But I'm going to teach you what this edge is when we get back from the commercial break. And we're going to take our risk from $50 risk $50 reward to like $10 risk $50 reward. Right when we get back from this break, stay right there. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investment strategy. You're always looking for the next trading opportunity to magnify your perspective. Direction Shares connects sophisticated traders with a powerful array of ETFs from a wide range of asset classes. The markets may go up and down, and you want tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor, Foresight Fund Services, LLC. 
David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Recently, Basil Chapman has had some outstanding trades in his newsletter, The Opening Call. Each morning by 9 a.m., Basil uploads his newsletter to the TFNN servers so that his subscribers can access his expert trading advice. Basil gives his take on the direction of key indices and updates any active trades that his subscribers are currently in. Just recently, Basil subscribers closed out a short position at Chipotle Mexican Grill, CMG, for more than an $86 profit per share, over a 20% gain in just one position. If you'd like to try out Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, then visit the front page of TFNN.com and click Trading Newsletters. There you'll find Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, where you can request a free sample copy. Also, don't miss Basil's program. The Tiger Technician's Hour, Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern, on TFNN. Tom O'Brien's weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, has helped subscribers for over 10 years navigate the high-risk world of exploring and producing gold companies. And now's a great time to sign up for a free month-long trial to see the kind of insight that Tom delivers for his subscribers on a weekly basis. Every Monday, Tom O'Brien issues a quick update on the metal market, giving you his take on the HUI, XAU, GLD, dollar bonds, and much more. Tom follows Monday's update with a full gold report, which is delivered to subscribers Tuesday afternoon with detailed coverage of 24 separate gold or metal stocks, as well as another 10 to 15 stocks that he lets you know are on his potential watch list. Get your month-long free trial to the Gold Report today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Don't spend another year navigating the metal markets on your own. Act early in 2013 and make the most of your gold and metal market investments. Join David White as he keeps you up to date on the latest tech stocks while he uses his Power Law Vector Indicator to identify the best trades. The Power Trading Hour, next on TFNN. All right, folks, welcome on back here to the Diagnostic Trading Hour. And so just uh, looking at things and how all the pieces come together. And uh, one of the things I was talking about when we got off the air was I said, you know, how can you reduce your risk from being $50 risk, $50 reward on these probability trades where the market, if it stays in a range, you still make money? Well, one of the things you can do, and I will warn you, you can't do this in like the last three minutes before expiration. Okay, but before that last three minutes, we know something about binaries. Okay, whether there's 23 hours until a binary expires or whether there is, oh, let's say, how do I put this? It doesn't matter if there's 23 hours or it doesn't matter if there's three minutes. If the underlying market is trading at the same price as the strike, so the market's at 980 Point two, and the strike is 980.2, that binary is going to be worth 50 bucks. Okay? So again, that binary will be worth $50 um, if it trades like right at that strike. And so if it gets down to your strike, then you'll be able to buy it back for 50. So let's say we sold it for, or we bought it for $75. Uh, and it falls down, and I lost 25 bucks. So I can buy it back for 50. $25 loss, check, okay. Now, what does that mean on the other one? Let me show you an example right here, okay? 
So this is a good example for you. Um, I got a, a dollar one right here that looks like the, um, the small cap one's working out great. But on the dollar one, or not the dollar one, but the S&P 500 uh, trade. And so if I go in, I pull up this S&P 500 trade where we have the market at right now. Then if it gets down to 1644, it'll be priced like it was It was almost right there, right at 50 bucks. Well, okay, I take a $25 loss, but guess what? The other one made about $15. So, like, right over here, so I'll capture that. We'll see if it comes back. Uh, not that I really want it to, but uh, if it does come back, then basically I could close this for 50 and the one over here that I went in and I, I sold for 25 I could probably buy back for, you know, maybe 5 bucks on the trade. So if I buy it back for, like, 5 or 10 then I lose 25 okay, and then I make, say, you know, 15 So if I can buy it back for 10 like right now I can buy it for 11 50 if I can buy it back for uh, $10 or less, and I lost $25 on the other one, then, you know, if I can make 10 or $15 on one side and lose $25 on the other, then I'm only going to lose 10 or 15 bucks. So we're going to go from risking 50 to risking 10 or 15 if we close it out when it hits the strike. And so that lowers our loss. Now, it may come back in. We may be taking a loss for no reason at all, but we just got our loss by 30 or by 66%. And um, so basically saying, hey, I only want trades that are going to stay right in this range. And if they get to that range, just get me out. I'll take the hit. If it pops back up, hey, maybe I'll, t I'll put it back on again. Okay? But by doing that, you cut your losses and you let your profits run. You go for those $50 trades and you take $15 hits on the other ones. And uh, so it's just a, it's a very cool uh, way to do the strategy. And, you know, it takes a little bit of work. So, I mean, it's not super easy. I wouldn't say it's super hard, but it's uh, not not super easy. It's just you got to sit down and you got to do it. Now, remember I said in those last like two or three minutes, you're not gonna be able to do anything. Okay, so that's important for you to understand when you're doing this strategy. Notice we got two minutes till expiration. The quotes are basically gone. Okay, unless another trader puts a quote out there, I can't get out. So in these last two minutes, I'm in the trade. Before that point, I could manage it if I needed to. Good news is, though, we're looking good on all of the trades, and it looks like they're all going to expire in the money. So that's a $100 profit in about, what, we put the trades on, you know, five, ten minutes ago? Not too shabby. All right, y'all stay right there. Uh, we have another great show coming up for you, and enjoy your weekend. Let me tell you something, folks. I have people coming up to me saying, I just can't believe the amount of work that Steve does on his newsletter. Yeah. And I says, I absolutely agree. That is a recent clip from the Money Masters show that Tom and I do each day at TFNN. My newsletter service, Mastering Probability, is much, much more than a newsletter. Yes, it's outperformed the S&P 500 by 100% during the last 15 months. But more importantly, it's an extraordinary education, a roadmap for your success. And it's yours risk-free for the next 30 days. Just go to the homepage of TFNN.com and click on my name, Steve Rhodes, and then Mastering Probability, because everyone needs a success strategy. For most, it's a competitive edge, the will to win, the drive to overcome any obstacle. Whatever you call it, winners find a way. Find your way to Mastering Probability today, because your journey to extraordinary rewards is just one click away.